Uh, an efface. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another episode of my top five drugstore products worth buying. So today we're going to be talking about my favourite drugstore brand ever, and that is Maybelline. So the reason why I love Maybelline so much is they're a great, fun, on-trend and affordable drugstore brand and they have the cutest packaging on a lot of their stuff and they also do some really great dupes for some high-end cult products. So today I'm going to be talking about my top five staples from Maybelline. These are products that I buy time and time again and I just have to have them sort of in my makeup collection because they're products that I use mostly on a daily basis. So my first product is a concealer and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So this retails for $5.99 for 6.8 mils. This comes in three shades here in the UK. Let me know actually if you're in the US and it does come in any more shades because that's the only downer about this concealer that it doesn't come in a better selection of shades because it is such a great concealer. So I have this in number 10. This has quite a yellow undertone but I absolutely love that because it covers up redness sorry, and dark circles brilliantly. It's a nice creamy consistency, it's really lightweight and it's also a super duper great dupe for the NARS creamy concealer but at half the price. So my next Maybelline love is the 24 hour colour tattoos and as you can see I have quite a few of these because I absolutely love them. First of all, they're really affordable, they're only £5 and you get, I can't actually see how many mils you get, but you do get quite a lot and they do last a long time. Second of all, these are an amazing dupe for the Bobbi Brown um, Longwear Eyeshadow, Cream Eyeshadows. I used to buy them, but these are just equally as good and they're only £5 and also they come in an amazing selection of colours and some of my favourites are On and On Bronze which is just like this light um, bronzy shade and then the other one is Pink Gold, this is beautiful, it's just a really nice Light pink goes great with rosy shades, especially the Urban Decay and Naked 3 palette. And then my other favourite has to be Permanent Talk. This is just a really nice matte shade. Um, so you can wear these on their own or underneath eyeshadow. I tend to wear them underneath eyeshadow just to make my eyeshadows pop a lot more. And the great thing about these is they are really long wearing. They do last such a long time. They always last all day and all night for me and you just can't go wrong for five pounds. My third Maybelline love is the Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and these are a fantastic dupe for the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Liner and having tried both of these, to be honest, I cannot see a difference. I also did a blog post comparing these as well, I'll put the link down below so you can see, but they're both equally as pigmented and equally as long wearing these are just half the price they retail for $7.99 and I think they come in black and brown only um, and the Bobbi Brown ones do come in a lot more um, colours but to be honest I think black and brown are great staple colours to have and I would always buy the Maybelline ones over the Bobbi Brown ones now. My fourth staple has to be the Four Seas Mascara in Black Drama. Now I am already a big fan of most of the Maybelline mascaras anyway, but this one definitely comes out on top. And the reason why is it makes your lashes super pigmented and black. It gives you the most beautiful false lash effect. So they're really nice and fluffy and volumized. And I love the brush on this as well. It's also 
a great price at $7.99 and if you're like me and you do love that false lash effect I definitely recommend this one. So my last Maybelline favourite is something I definitely can't live without and it may be a bit excessive but it is the Maybelline Baby Lips. Okay I do have quite a few of these but I do absolutely love them. I'm totally obsessed with them and the reason why is because I usually during the week I only wear lip balm and then the, the weekend is when I mess around with colour and things like that. So these are just great to have in bags, in the car, by my bed and things like that. They come in the cutest packaging. Some of them have an SPF in, some of them are tinted or have a little bit of shimmer in them. They smell delicious and they're a really good price. There are $2.99 except the um, Dr. Rescue ones are $3.49 but still a lovely price and just a nice thing to have if you are a lip balm fan. And some of my favourites are, I'll show you, so I've got one of the crystal ones and this is in Beam of Blush. This gives a really nice subtle shimmer to the lips so nothing too out there just a really really nice sheen and then we have um, this is one of the originals this is peach kiss this gives a nice nudey peach tint to the lips again really subtle but still nice if you don't want too much color on the lips then the other one is one I actually took on holiday this is a nice one to have it's a menthol one it kind of smells um, a bit like Vicks actually. So if you don't like Vicks, this may not be for you, but I love the smell of it. This is in Too Cool and this also treats the lips as well. They are very moisturizing anyway, but this is a nice one to have as it's just clear. And like I said, I did use this a lot on holiday. Then the other one of my favorites is a new one. Um, this is the pop art ones I think they're called and this is in bubblegum pop and this is just a nice pink one. This smells amazing as well, it smells like sweets. But this I actually used in my um, summer drugstore makeup tutorial. I like this because it just gives a nice subtle um, pop of pink to the lips. So. It's really gorgeous. So guys, thank you so much for watching and that concludes my Maybelline top five products worth buying if you are on the lookout for some new Maybelline products or some classic Maybelline products as well. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration. I'll also have an according blog post talking about my top five Maybelline products as well with pictures. I'll put the link down below if you want to go and check that out. And also if you missed my last two previous videos, you can go ahead and click on the picture links and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful last bit of the week guys and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care. Bye.